In this recording, we are going to look at the moving average method, which is simply a method that uses the number of historical actual data to generate a focus. So we have been given actual cells. According to the question, it says, given the actual cells for each quarter below, calculate the focus for each quarter in year four, this year down there, using three period moving average method. Then part P says find the mean square error. So after determining the focus demand, then we are going to determine the mean square error. So here we have been given four data for three, three years. Okay, then we are going to determine the focus demand. So to determine the focus demand, we draw a table like this one here and fill in the given uh, details. So in the first column, we are going to say year. Then the next column will say the quarter. The next will have actual demand. Actual demand. Then in the other column, the last one here, will say the focus. Forecast. Okay, so for the years we we'll have year one, each with four quarters, quarter one, two, three, and four. Then we'll have year two with quarter one, two, three, and four. Then we'll have year three with quarter one, two, three, and four. Now for the year in which demand is required to be forecasted, that is year four, with quarter one, two, three, and four. Remember, for this year, year four here, there is no actual demand given. So we we'll get back to the question and copy down the actual demand that has been given. We we'll write it down here. So we are going to copy down this actual demand that has already been given and write it down on our new table that we just developed. So for year one, quarter one, we have 398. Quarter two, we have 395. Then 361. Then 400. 14. 402. 378, 440, 465, 460, 430, and 473, like that. Now we can move on with the forecast. The question says that using three period moving average. So for the three period moving average, we count the number of periods starting from quarter one, two, three, meaning our forecast demand will start from year four. 
So from year four, we are going to get the average for the previous N actual demand. So from quarter one to quarter three, our N value here is three. So that's the key, three period moving average. We'll get the average for the sum of the previous actual demand given. So we'll go to period four and say three nine eight plus the next one three nine five plus next three six one. So now the total of these last n actual demand divided by three. Then the answer will be 384.67. So this is our forecast demand for year four. Then we move on to, this is the forecast demand for quarter four, year one and quarter four. Then the next period is quarter one for year two. So here we are going to get the average for the last N actual demand, or rather the last N actual data given. So that will be 400, 361, 395, the last three. Remember our N value is three, three moving average. So here we'll say 400 plus 361 plus 395. So we'll say, 400 plus 361 plus 395. Now all this divided by three, which gives 385.33. For the next one, is quarter two of year two. We'll do the same, the last three, data given. We get the average for the last three data given. So we'll start with 410, then 400 and 361 like that. So we'll say 410 plus 400 plus 361. And then all this divided by three, which gives 390.33. Then for the next one, quarter three of year two, we'll do the same, the last three data. That is from 402 up to 400. So we add this up, then divided by three. So say, 402 plus 410, sorry, 410 plus 400, all divided by three, and we get 404. Okay, then the next one, quarter four of year two, that will be the last three data. So from 378, 402, and 410. So we we'll say 378 plus 402 plus 410, all divided by three. What do we get? We get 396.67. Then for the next, projection or for the next forecast, that is quarter one of year three. We get the last three entries. So from 40, 440, 378 and 402. So let's add them. 440, 
plus 37H plus 402 or divided by 3, which gives us 406. Is it 406? Yes, 406.67. Then the next projection for quarter two of year three will start from, remember, always the last three. In this case, our N is three. So we are getting the last three. For each focus, sync period, we get the last three. So here we are at quarter two of year three. So we we'll start from 465, 440 up to 378. So we say 465 plus 440 plus 378. Then all divided by three, we get 427.67. Then the next pro projection, the next focus for quarter three of year three, it's to be fourth, fourth kisti plus four six five plus four forty all divided by three, which gives four five one point six seven. Okay, then the Next focus, we are going to have 465 or 430, 430 plus 460 plus 465, all divided by 3, which gives 454. Okay. Sorry, yeah, it was supposed to be four, four, five, five point zero zero. Okay, so this is point zero zero. Then four, five, one point six seven. Okay, sorry for that error. So this is four, five, one point six seven. Okay, that's good. Then for the next one, that is quarter one of year four, we'll get the last three again. So that is 473 plus 430 plus 460, all divided by three, which gives 454. Point three three. Okay, this is quite good. Now for the next one, quarter four. Check we don't have data for the last three. Check for the previous quarter. That is quarter one of year four. There is no data. So here we are going to assume that the focus for the previous quarter is going to repeat. So the focus for quarter two is going to be the same as the previous one. That is 454.33, same as for the next 454.33, and same applies to the next quarter, which is quarter four. 454.33. Okay. So that's all for the focus. That is part A, where we are asked to determine the focus for each of the four quarters for year four. Then we move on to part B, where we are asked to determine the mean square error. So now remember, the mean square error is simply the square of the difference between the actual demand 
and the forecast demand. So for each period where demand is forecasted and we have the actual, we are going to determine the square of the difference and then divided by this number of periods. So let's uh, quickly do that. So first of all, we can say this is our part A, and then we move on to part B. So we continue with part B, where we'll get the difference between the focus demand and actual demand, and square it, sum it up, and then divided by the number of period. So you go to quarter four of year one, that is our first forecast. So we we'll have to say mean square error will be equal to the actual demand is 400 less the forecast demand which is 384.67 or squared Plus four ten minus three eight five Okay, so we find the difference between actual demand and focus demand for each of the periods where demand is focused and we have the actual demand and we square that difference and divided all by the number of periods for focusing demand which is nine in total so we divide this by nine so by calculator that is going to give us nine zero six zero point eight eight two three then all divided by nine and we'll have our mean square error will be equal to one zero zero six point seven six. Okay, that's good and quick. So this brings us to the end of this question where we are looking at the moving average method and the number of period of the moving average was three years, it was three. So thank you for watching.